like we always do about this time. This is the day that the Lord has made, yes. We shall rejoice and be glad in it well. I need you to get in the chat right now and let me know what city you represent. Let me know what city you represent, baby. Get in the comments right now. Oh, welcome to another edition of the flagship show for the Soul Times Movement. Motivation Monday, giving you kingdom motivation for your life situation. I am your host, the love and life coach, Dr. Dale Lawrence. Get in the comments, get in the chat, and let me know what city you in. Oh, I'm turned early. It's going to be a good one tonight. It's going to be a good one tonight. I just want to know right now before I get started, who has hit the subscribe button? If you have not hit that subscribe button, I need you to hit it right now. This is a ministry that operates in another man's algorithm. And according to that algorithm, in order for us to get the good news out, we need your likes and we need your subscribe. And it don't cost you nothing to do that. So please, during this moment, it ain't nothing but the flick of a finger. Hit that subscribe button right now. If you're live or watching the replay on YouTube, if you are on Facebook, follow Hit the follow button so you can be a part of the movement as it unfolds. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Motivation Monday. It's going down. You see the title. I, listen, I'm going in tonight. And nothing will hurt you. Listen, I'm going ahead and going to kick it off right now. If it not... If it hasn't already happened, there's an attack coming. And I'm telling you right now, the enemy is mad at you. And this is the reason for the attack. I don't want you at, at, at no moment thinking that it's God mad at you. No. God is going to use the enemy to get you more. Stop the show. Stop the show right now. Listen, 2024 is the year of more. And in order for more to come, trouble must precede it. Ooh. I'm not backing off of it. It is still the decade of the double. We are in 20. 24, 2020, a whole decade of double 20, 24, 12 times 2, 12, the number of divine government, of foundation. Hear me. So when I tell you that what God has in store for you, woo, what God has in store for you, is double for your trouble. But trouble must precede the double. That trouble represents an attack. And I, and I don't want you to look at it as it's foreign. It's not foreign. A lot of, you know, Christians will believe that once we are saved or once God comes into our life, there's no trouble. No, that's, that's a lie. Trouble comes. 
trouble coming from everywhere, especially if you are God's chosen and you anointed. But I'm here to encourage those who have double coming their way. I'm here to encourage those letting you know that 24 is the year of double 12. Remember, not only is 12 government, not only is it foundation, but it represents divine power. <laughs> Rule, oh my God, watch this, and authority. It represents authority. And I want to motivate you tonight and encourage you tonight to let you know that you have authority over these attacks. Some of you are being attacked in your family. You're being attacked in your body. You're being attacked in your finances. This, this episode is for you. Hit the share button right now. I'll wait. I'll wait. Copy this link right now and text it to somebody who is going through an attack that's going through hard times. They need to hear this episode tonight. Regardless of what you're going through, are you ready? Nothing will hurt you. This will not hurt you. As a matter of fact, this ain't nothing but a setup for your blower. Stop the show. Stop the show. It's a setup for your come up. That's all it is. And I'm here to motivate you tonight. Y'all know each and every week, Motivation Monday, I give you a motivational message along with a motivational scripture that we meditate on. And our motivational scripture for this week is Luke. Luke, the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19. I'm getting ready to break it down to you. It says, behold... I give unto you power. Wait a minute. Stop the show. Stop the show. Wait a minute. First and foremost, those who are under attack. Again, this is not foreign. God said that this would happen. Listen, he said in this life, you will have trials. You will have tribulations. You will have trouble. But be of good cheer. Here it is. For I have overcome. So if God has overcome, if Jesus has overcome and Jesus is living in us, then we are overcomers. Matter of fact, we are more than conquerors. Watch this. As a matter of fact, he said that the weapon would form. Oh, this is war. This is war. The enemy knows more is coming, so therefore he has waged war against you. But I'm here to motivate you tonight. Who am I talking to in the comments? Who am I talking to in the chat? Y'all better get active. Y'all better let me know if you you out there. Listen, whoever is under attack, whoever feels like all hell is breaking in their life, I'm here to tell you. Number one, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. This is the first line of attempt of attack that the enemy likes to do is get you in fear. Because if you're in fear, that means you're out of faith. And if you're out of faith, then there is no victory. I'm going to say that again. If the enemy can get you in fear, that means it automatically takes you out of faith because you cannot walk in faith and fear at the same time. Faith has to dispel all fear. But if you're scared, say you're scared. That way we can deal with it. For God has not given us <laughs> the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I'm going to stick with what we got. The first word it said, but of power. You got power. And our motivational text says, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power. Wait, 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 wait. Over all. Wait, wait, wait. Did it say so? It said all the power of the enemy. So that means what we're scared for. What are we scared for when 
Luke 10 and 19 clearly tells us that we possess a power that automatically is victorious over the enemy and whatever he could throw at us. We're treading on scorpions and snakes and nothing. Well, here, here, here go the part right here. Nothing. And nothing. Somebody better talk to me. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. <laughs> Listen, I need you to, I, I mean, I need that to be sown into your heart and your mind right there. You got power. You got power, woman of God. You got power, man of God. And that power gives you permission to prosper over every attack that the enemy shoots your way. Just look at what the text said. Let's go in and amplify. It says, I have given you the power or the authority in which you now possess to tread over scorpions and serpents. In other words, you have the power to defeat any attack that launches your way. I'm just here to tell you that right now. This is your year of more. Don't think of these attacks as strange. They're supposed to happen because it is the enemy's attempt to try to get you to get out of faith and fear your way into failure. But I need somebody to put in the comments right now. The devil is a lie. <laughs> the devil is a lie. Look, look, I done been through too much hell to miss my heaven right now. I done been through too much hell to miss the heaven on earth that's about to come my way in 2024. I have divine power. I have divine rule. I have divine authority. This is the year of divine authority and of divine rule. This is the year of more. So therefore, I need to exercise my authority. Ooh. I got three points for you tonight. Three ways to exercise your power. Three ways to exercise your power. First and foremost, watch this. You need to know, number one, number one, three ways to exercise my power. Number one, stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. Your power comes from your prayer. Ooh, I'm going to say that again. Your power comes from your prayer, the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The power that you possess by way of the spirit comes through your activity in prayer. That is where true worshipers go to war. True worshipers go to war on their knees. True worshipers go to war in the war room, in the prayer closet. Watch this. When you pray, things happen. When you pray, things shift. When you pray, you exercise your divine authority that God has given you to tread over serpents, scorpions. And to overturn and overcome the power of the enemy. So that prayer, prayer, got to get your prayer up. Num number two, number two, number two, how do I activate this divine power? Number two, watch this. I operate in faith. Operating through operating in faith, not in fear, but in faith. So how do I allow fear not to grip my heart? Every time there's an opportunity for fear to come in, I need to find a scripture of faith that totally annihilates that. That totally casts down that imagination of fear. And ignite me with the information that I need of faith. Ooh. Stay prayed up. Stay walking in faith. And number three, watch this. Number three. This, this is a divine power right here. It said, by nothing, by any means shall hurt you. Believe the promise. Believe the promise. This is the problem. 
what so many of us that call ourselves believers, we truly don't believe. And, and faith doesn't work unless we believe. Jesus told Thomas, you only believe because you see. But blessed is the man that does not see and still believe. Belief is such an important part of warfare. Because once the enemy launches his attack, you got to believe this fight is fixed. Y'all ain't going to let me be myself tonight. No, the fight is fixed. You don't win this one. And, and, and the enemy will do everything in his power to make you think you're finished. You're done. I got you on this one. But if I stay prayed up, if I keep my faith up, and if I believe in every promise that God has given me, the enemy cannot defeat me. He cannot crack me. Because I'm standing on kingdom business. <laughs> oh, that's the real business to be standing on. I'm standing on kingdom business knowing that I have the power. I have the authority. To tread over every serpent, every scorpion. I got power over the enemy and nothing. Ooh, oh my God. And nothing by any means. I don't care what they do. I don't care how many threats they putting out. I don't care what the enemy is saying to you. I don't care if, if, if it's by way of health, ex, persons, job. I don't care who it is. Nothing by any means should hurt you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this motivating word. God, we thank you that you've already let us know that we possess the power. We possess the power to prosper in every battle that the enemy shoots our way. We have the authority. We have the rule, God, through prayer, through faith, and through believing that wholeheartedly what your word says about us is true and nothing by any means can hurt us. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Listen. Oh, I need you to sow into that word right now. Listen, on, on all three platforms, the Soul Ties, Cash App, PayPal, and Demo, all three of them, whichever one you want to use, it's the Soul Ties, T-H-E-S-O-U-L-T-I-E-S, -E -E the Soul Ties, Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo. Sow your seed right now. Listen, I, listen, the devil ain't going to win this one. He ain't going to win this one because you are now equipped knowing who you are. Once you know the fight is fixed, once you know that no weapon formed, it ne God never said it wouldn't go form. So don't be scared just because an attack has been launched on your life. Don't be scared just because something bad is happening to you. Please know that in the end, we win. You have power and nothing. I'm going to say it again. Nothing by any means shall hurt you. Listen, if that bless you at all, sow your seed into the Soul Ties on Cash App. PayPal or Venmo. And remember, every Monday night, 8 p.m. Central, we get busy right here, right here, right here. Tune in, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to hear more amazing content, sign up to the Soul Ties Society. My goal is 100 people in the society. As of tonight, since the beginning of the year, I've been pushing this. We're at 44. I'm believing for six people to sign up tonight. Absolutely free. Go to patreon.com forward slash Dale Lawrence. Sign up for the Soul Society. That is my virtual online community for Soul Ties for the entire year. You get me as your love and life coach a monthly Zoom with me, weekly podcast, and monthly messages of the Soul Tie series, including both my digital products, absolutely free, entire year. Listen, you got to sign up. You got to sign up for it. Sign up for it right now on Patreon.com for the Soul Tie Society. And next Monday night, same bad time, 
Same bat channel. We'll be right back motivating you. Until then, stay in faith, stay focused, and stay motivated. So man, I'm so blessed. So man, I'm so blessed. Never no stress. Nah. Never no, never no stress. Never no, never no stress. Roll with the best. best. Bless me with never the less. With never the less. I'm in the best. best. The kingdom of God is its best. Of God it is best. I am a winner. Winner. Faith in me making me win. Faith in me making me win. I can see it in. in. Boy, I, I would never pretend. Boy, I would never pretend. Look what he did. Hey. Swear I would never deserve Swear it. I would never deserve it. I said a prayer. Prayer. Before I did it, he heard it. He heard it. Look at God work, look at God work. He still work, oh he still work. Catching them blitz, catch, catching them blitz, dodging them curse, Do dodging them curse. Look at God work, man, look at God work. He still work, oh he still work. Catching them blitz.